Hi everybody again, it's uh, Annie here from Sheffield Futures Door 43 and I'm here today to talk about mindful breathing and there's been quite a lot of talk recently on the media and online and things about mindfulness and mindfulness breathing is just kind of linking this idea of being aware of your body and in particular your breathing and how that can bring on a sense of calm and, a, and a, an idea of well-being. I think it's important because when we're quite anxious, we tend to breathe from the top of our chest. And that sends um, a message to our brain that we're not safe, that we're in danger, that we're in this sense of threat. And that can trigger this fight or flight mode or re response. Um, so when we are kind of mindful, mindfully breathing... It does the opposite. It sends a message to our brain that we're safe, that we're okay. And it gives us a, a moment to kind of clarify our thoughts, to switch in our thinking brains, to clear the fog that might be in our minds about confusion. And it helps us to kind of reset and repause things for a moment so we can um, make sensible choices and make mindful choices. Um, there's a really good app on Google that you can find and it's called Headspace Mindful Breathing and it's got, um, it's free, It's I think it's three minutes and it's really nice because you he talks you through it. I won't do that in this session, I won't do that now, um, but I do suggest you kind of have a look at it um, and he's kind of focusing on, you get into a room, you might want to close your eyes, you might want to think about all of the sensations in your body, thinking about where do you notice the tension. And sometimes it's helpful to start from the top down. So have I got any kind of tension in my in my mind, in my head, in my shoulders, in my neck, working all the way down to you to the bottom of your um to your feet basically and being aware. A lot of mindfulness is about just noticing things, noticing the thoughts that come up and the emotions that come up and um, just recognising them. Sometimes it's not about fighting them, it's about accepting them. So mindfulness breathing is, is a way we focus on our breathing in its entirety. So what do we notice about when we breathe in? You know, um, do we notice there's a change in the temperature when we breathe in? Is it is it slightly uh, cooler when we breathe in to when we breathe out? Um, does it help to count when we breathe in? Um, sometimes it's helpful to count into four and then hold for four and then breathe out. Um, it doesn't have to take ages. You can do it for three minutes. There's, there's also quite a few other uh, examples of uh, videos that you can look online. Some are five minutes, some are four minutes. So you don't need to have lots and lots of spare time to do it. Um, a few minutes a day in a quiet room, in a quiet space, focusing on your breathing. And you might be surprised at the impact that has on the way you might feel after Hopefully, it will encourage this sense of calm, this sense of control, and this sense of being able to manage whatever the issue is, um, being able to think a little bit more clearly, um, and being able to um, resist the urge to make um, impulsive responses to things. Um, some people find it helpful in a darkened room. You don't have to. Some people find that easier. It might not be the thing for you. Um, so have a play around with it, um, especially at a time when you're feeling quite anxious. Sometimes that's the hardest time to do it because you're thinking, well, I can't do it now. My head's full of everything. Um, well, if it's if three minutes feels too too long, have a go at one minute. Have a go at sitting in a room for one minute and just notice, notice the sounds of your breath coming in and of the sounds of the make as they're coming out. Um, the movement in your chest, the movement in your stomach. Um, it's often recommended to breathe from your stomach lower down because that's kind of deeper breathing. You might want to put your stomach on your, uh, your hand on your stomach, sorry, and feel that movement as your stomach kind of um, pushes in and pushes out. Um, and um yeah so focusing on your on your breathing but also on the sensations in the whole of your body 
you might find it easier laying down. You might find it um, easier on the settee laying flat in a comfortable chair. As long as you are in a place where you feel relaxed and calm and comfortable, that'll be perfect to try and kind of practice this mindful breathing. You can do it outside as well. So if you have a maybe a panic attack outside, you can do it outside. No one needs to know that that's what's happening. Um, but I think when you start in any new skill, it's easy to do it in the comfort of your own home. So when you do need to practice it outside, it doesn't feel quite as strange or quite as difficult or quite as unfamiliar. So yeah, I recommend maybe doing five or three minutes a day and and just noticing what you notice basically how does that impact on your thoughts hopefully will help to quieten some of the the busy thoughts in your mind um and that will ultimately impact on the emotions that you might be having so yeah if you if you're interested um have a look at the um headspace mindful breathing or uh, the other kind of little short videos that's available and um yeah see what you notice about how it's impacted on you. All right. Okay. Take care. Bye for now. Stay safe.